Well, the first man through to the quarterfinals of Masters 2024, Jack Lazowski. All smiles for yourself. How was it for you? Oh, amazing. You know, it's um, such a daunting venue to play at sometimes. I wasn't that confident today, but I've been practicing hard the, the last few days and um, I just started well. I just felt good straight away. And, and the first four frames just kind of went by in a blur and felt great. What, 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 I was going to ask you, what, what struck me, I, I don't know if it's a pre-shot routine, but pre-shot you're standing up having a look for two, three, four seconds. Mm. That's actually quite a long time, isn't it? But it, it looks like you're settled for what's to come. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't even really aware I was doing it today, to be honest, but I've had a few sessions. Which is actually with, good. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I was doing it. So I had a few sessions with like uh, Lee Walker, and he's just got me just coming into the shot a bit straighter. Mm. Yeah, long may it last, I guess. Mm. So technically, he's looking to make changes? Yeah. Just Well, yeah, because I steer, so I get down on the shot. I can be thick or thin, and as I'm hitting, sometimes I'll go one way or the other. Um, and, I mean, theoretically, if you get down straight, you should be more <clears throat> less steering. So that, that, About four or five years ago, I think Jim will, would agree, when Jack got in close with, with the scoring p positions where you should score, mm. it was a bit of a, oh, I don't yeah, know yeah. what's coming. Yeah. It doesn't look that way anymore. It looks like you're going to score every time. I mean, yeah, um, my season, yeah, it's, the season's not been great and I'm still quite up and down, but today I just felt like everything's going to go in, so... Days like that, it's, it's just annoying. I'm still getting annoyed because sometimes it's such a hard, it feels such a, like a different sport. So it's just about, I really want to find some consistent, consistency and I want to feel bad and, <clears throat> and play like that. You know, I felt good today. Uh, well, I, I think you hit the ball fantastic today. I think you should just like go away thinking, I played well, you know, because you've played here before and not been comfortable. Today you look comfortable. You're always silky when you're in the balls and you look like you've got that focus. I, I think um, you should be happy with your day's work today. Definitely. Yeah, it's a great... In terms of China, you mentioned mm. ups and downs. Big ups in China, final at Macau, mm. one four seven in the final, no yeah. less. Has, has that helped? I think, yeah, definitely, because the last... I think I'd lost, like, three games in a row, maybe, and I, I wasn't playing um, anywhere near. I felt, you know, when you just feel off, I just felt like, well, my game's nowhere near. And then lost the qualifier in Germany, I was like straight to the airport, flew, flew to Hong Kong, had that exhibition tournament in Macau, and it was a really good, great setup, great crowds, and I played, I played some good stuff. And it just can be a little thing, kind of like a little boost, and then I think that carried me all the way through today, and I feel like a different player. Just on that match today, I, I wanted to ask you, from the start to the finish, did, did you feel like you were the aggressor or looker? Because the reason is, the reason I'm asking you, I think for years and years and years, you've been the mm. aggressor mm. sometimes too yeah, much, yeah, yeah, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. It, you don't have to be the aggressor all the time. No, do you? I think um, I was still going for my shots today, but... But when, couldn't, with control. Yeah, there was nothing too stupid. No. Um, so it's just, I'm just, uh, I'm not a, a natural safety player or anything, I'm just mm. like gung-ho, so... I'm always kind of reining it in. and But uh, but are you feeling like, for example, again, that, that match today, do you feel like you're bossing the exchanges at times, or, or, or is that not I something? I don't know. I just think he missed a few and just I was kind of, like, straight in. And that uh, that when you kind of come to the table, you haven't played a great shot, and then suddenly, like, they're all on. Mm. Um, it, set, it settles you, so I just felt relaxed today, I guess. Me and Alan, was what, obviously, we watch every shot. We love watching you play. Um, there's one particular time in the third frame, you was in the balls and your mindset and your rhythm, we both more or less simultaneously said how he's playing now and how his mindset and his pace, he can win any tournament he plays in. Mm. So it's like, you, uh, like from the first game today, as soon as you've got the first frame under your belt, you are now settled into the match. Yeah. I feel that's the difference now with your game. Yeah, I think... I just felt good though today, you know, and then when I feel good I play at that pace, whereas when I'm not so confident I might play quicker yeah. or, or slower. Um, <clears throat> so I'd say I probably played at that pace because I just felt good, but hopefully I can just... I think that's your natural to, pace, yeah, 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 it's just a bit of care, isn't it? It's yeah. fast, but a little bit of... Yeah, you, care, you're never going to be slow, trust mm. me. You know, we often talk about snooker, the reason it's the hardest cerebral sport is when you're sat in your chair, you can't mm. respond. Yeah. I saw you speaking to yourself at one stage. Uh, a little bit, yeah, because it's so noisy in there, you can kind of like... I, can't, I couldn't hear myself think, so I was just, <laughs> I was just talking <laughs> to myself a little bit, just saying things like, you know, just 
keep, keep your concentration. Don't let them know. Don't no, let no, them know. No, no, no. It's, it's not. It's <laughs> not, it's not, it's not <laughs> don't tell them. It's not going to help anyone. I mean, it's just obvious stuff. But yeah. just trying to just keep in the moment because it's suddenly Luca just two frames changed the whole game, four two, and you know. I know what it's like. Sometimes I've had that before, and I'll just be away, away with the fairies, and then before you know it, I've, I've lost six four, and I'm going home. So it was just at that point four two. I think was a really important, important um, frame, and well, I had to be. Yeah, you made a good break. Well, all yeah, the balls I, were safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good sixty odd, and then hmm. I butchered the blue into the green. But yeah, I mean, he missed the black, and he ran. Something tells me you're going to be dangerous in this tournament. Your, the, your demeanour, your poise, everything is saying this is a guy who could go deep and potentially win his first Triple Crown title.